Join us on the journey this week as we give ourselves some peace of mind before hitting the road again. We try a new recipe that we shouldn't be eating. Nobody should be eating this crap. That dog will hunt. We make an impromptu stop at Bucky's. They showed the signs for like 97 miles. It's called marketing. Because I like to party. Before finding a great park in Arkansas that surprised us. There are no slide issues, tons of room on the other side. This site is long. We I could fit another truck back here. We could put another dually truck right behind here. Then I get a little competitive in a go-kart. Welcome back. We have a couple days before travel day, but we also have a couple of housekeeping items that we need to take care of before we hit the road. It's always something. Angela caught here a while back. Our spare tire, while it's not hanging down or falling off, it's kind of at a little bit of an angle, and I think I just didn't tighten it all the way up after we had a flat here about three or four months ago. I did a whole video on this a while back, but there seems to be a problem out there in the industry with these trailers that have the crank up spare tires, particularly I see them on fifth wheels kind of works like a car. You put the tire in, put the cable through it, and it sucks it up against the body of the trailer. Those things like to back off. Our friend Brian in Minnesota has a 3D printer and printed the fix for it. And he sells them on Etsy for under 20 bucks. I'm not sure what they're running today. It works really well if you actually crank the tire all the way up before you put the pin in. But if you're interested in something like that, we'll put a link in the description. We don't make a dime off of it. It's just a friend of ours and a fellow RVer that created a solution to a problem. We want to support people like that every chance we get. And it's worked great for us. A couple of episodes back, I caught a clip of our slides making a terrible screeching noise. It was a terrible noise coming out of the slide. It was getting really bad, and I've made the commitment that we're gonna clean and lubricate these things more often, and I guess that's our reminder to do it. So I'm gonna get in here and clean these slide rails up. We're just gonna use WD-40 dry lube. Any dry lube works. I'm not married to WD-40. It's just easy to find, and it's always worked well for me. I just wanted to give a couple of points on where I like to lubricate these things. Now, we have the rack and pinion slides. You may have hydraulic, you may have Schwintech, you may have cables, so this may not apply to you. But if you have the rack and pinion slides, which you can tell they run on electricity and they crank down these little gears all the way in and all the way out. And these things like to catch, especially on the outside edge, you'll catch a little bit of road grime for what's exposed when you're going down the highway. So you just want to clean all this off really good. You can just use soap and water or a wet rag, hit it with some dry lube and you're good to go for a little bit. You look better behind the grill. I know we've got brats and bacon, but I think you stuffed them with something, so you're gonna have to explain exactly what this is. Cody told me that we've been eating so much yuck and junk that he's ready for us to get back on our cleaning regiment, which for the most part we have. I can assure you this is not on that list. This is a food that I defrosted while we had people around us. Got lazy, didn't really wanna do anything with it. So it needs to be cooked. So that's why we're doing it. I don't know how good of a decision this is. It's brought split open with pimento in the middle, wrapped in bacon. Pimento cheese, is that what you're? Pimento cheese, Pimento yeah. cheese in the middle. You can do any kind of spread you want, but. Yeah, that'll be good. We're just gonna cook them up on the Pit Boss. So we get the Opus out here, taking care of the Pit Boss power needs. I'm not sure this is a campground where a lot of people grill out in front of their camper on a regular basis, but they did say in the little rules not to use the picnic table, so. We're following the rules. Today. For today. A little update on aloe vera. He's not doing so hot. He's, uh, since Cody stepped on him. Yeah. I absolutely did not expect for both of these plants to be sitting right by the stairs. So now that I've had time to reflect, I blame her. 
Because <laughs> I had them sitting on the picnic table. I think it might be all right. If not, we're going to be home in a few weeks and we'll have my mom bring it back to life. <laughs> All right, so this took a little bit longer than expected. These things have been on here for about an hour and a half. <laughs> Reason it took so long is we split the bratwurst, put the pimento cheese and stuff inside, then wrapped them in bacon, and I was afraid if I would flip them like I normally would a brat, all the cheese would run out. I just kind of turned the heat down to 250 and slow smoked them. I mean, the results kind of speak for itself. Now let's be honest, nobody should be eating this crap. Nobody should be we eating should that. We should be eating That this. is bad, bad business. <laughs> that dog will hunt. <laughs> that dog will hunt. I think I need to go eat a vegetable. Not me. <laughs> we have some stuff to get ready. We're gonna hit the road really early tomorrow. Not really early, but early. Early enough. But it's our last night in Sullivan, Missouri, trying to get the sun out of the camera. <laughs> it's hard to do right now. And for the viewer that coined the term Ange Venture, that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna coin this tonight. Yeah, this, this is an Ange Venture. Yeah, this is right up your alley. I like it. I'm keeping it. Especially if you like the sweeter wines, they're gonna have a much better selection, but it's not frou-frou. I've been to some wineries that I'm very uncomfortable because it's not me. It's casual, they do a great, they're really nice here. I think they have the exact same beer here. Yes, is the That they brewery. sell at the brewery next door, so you yeah. can kind of get it all in one if, if that's what you're wanting to do. Or vice versa, the brewery has food, and they have the wines. You could buy a bottle or a glass or whatever. Okay, so food, why didn't we go there? Are you hungry? I just fed you. I know everybody's gonna let me know in the comments I need to get a TSD card and I have one coming. I actually applied for the TSD open roads fuel card a day before we picked up the truck. Still waiting on that. They say it could take up to 20 days. So about three weeks, we're coming up on that. So maybe soon, but for now I'm still using Upside. I used it the whole time I had my gas truck. I liked it. It saved us about 120 bucks last year. And you can convert that into an Amazon gift card or something like that. So today we're using Upside and getting eight cents off our diesel. So that's a nice quick way that you can start saving money on fuel today if you don't already have it. And if you have a gas truck, I think it's probably the best option out there for discounts. Maybe there's something better you can let us know in the comments, but really looking forward to that open roads card because my friends tell me the savings are significant. Show them what you did when I started the truck. <laughs> like to hear that diesel rattle. <laughs> Good morning, folks. It's travel day. It's early, we wanted to get out of here by eight, but the sun's coming up later and later, which means fall is right on top of us. We're about wrapped up, almost ready to go, but these windshields are nasty. It is bug season. I've got bugs all over the windshield. So before we get going, I'm gonna get my stubby ladder out, get this thing cleaned up so we can see how to get down the highway. Visibility is key. We're gonna measure this. It's not gonna be perfect, but it'll give us an idea. We're just under 14 inches on the air conditioner. You hold I'm just the gonna drop this. Yep. 
That wasn't as dramatic as I thought it was going to be. All right, go right to the edge of the roof. Yeah, it's 13.4. I keep the Garmin set at 13.6 like a big rig. So we're good. Perfect. Now we know. Now we know. Time to rock and roll. We just keep ending up leaving earlier and earlier the last few trips. It's 13.6 dialed in. We are in fifth wheel mode. We got about 283 miles to ride, about five hours. Should be a reasonably easy travel day. We've got our 50 gallon fuel tank filled completely up. Mama's seat heaters are on. I think we're ready to ride. I told him he just needs to do something to make it where that just comes on. Now, if you ever have a passenger that's not me in here, they would probably freak out, but just go ahead and get my buns toasty. This is definitely a quick stop off for most people. We were one of the few that actually stayed more than just one night, but we, this was a nice day. Not bad. Truck update, we're coming through Southern Missouri. We're actually starting to see some hills and the leaves are changing. It's really pretty out here, but I've been really loving the engine brake on this truck. Now our Ford with the 7.3 and the 10 speed, the transmission did an awesome job of keeping us at the right speed going downhill when we had the cruise set. This engine brake's a whole different thing. I think all the diesels have it, but yeah, just set the cruise and roll. What do you think you're doing? I had to do it. I, I <laughs> you don't have to do it. I haven't been to this Bucky's yet in Springfield. I have a feeling that it's like every other Bucky's. <laughs> I suspect this is why you didn't want me to warm up food this morning. No. I, mm -hmm. They showed the signs for like 97 miles. It's called marketing. dollars at Bucky's. That's why we avoid this place. I know. Sausage, egg, and cheese. I'm going to try their jerky and brittle. At the same time? Because I like to party. We do tend to learn on every trip. And something I learned is that pistachios are a very messy snack in the car. Am I going to have to get the vacuum out when we land? I brushed it out. Into the floor? I brushed it out. So I'm vacuuming when we get to camp. Mm. Back on the road again. That place was crowded. Crazy. For as many people, the traffic in there, they get you in and out pretty quick. It's easy to spend a lot of money in a very short amount of time. I bet you don't know where owls go to buy their clothes. Like, like owls? Like, like ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Yeah, those owls. No, no, I don't. Owlet malls. No. Oh, that's bonk. good. You know it. Nuh-uh. No bonk. But no matter what you do, take this life lesson. You don't, and I mean never, tell eggs a joke. So crack up. <laughs> ah, I ruined it. We were a little concerned about the dogs being freaked out in a new vehicle, but as long as we had their little blanket down there, they seemed to be fine. And in fact, this backseat area has solved some problems for us. And it took them no time. No. I mean, there wasn't even an adjustment period. No, they were fine. They, they were just like, bye-bye blue truck, hello new truck. They could care less as long as we're both in here. <laughs> they got the blanket. I was all worried about it. Different sounds, you know, different ride. You know how dogs are. They're, they all have their whimsies. Well, our dogs are extra, extra. <laughs> A lot of dogs are extra. Extra. They seem to like the situation better. One... Eris likes to bury her blanket in the water just to be a jerk. We have this little hump in the center and I can put their water on one side so they can go across and get their drink over there, their blanket on the other, and 
Charlie loves to be propped up a little bit. I don't know if it just feels good on his neck and spine that way. He's been there like the whole trip today. Every trip, that's where that's his spot now. We're at Hog Valley RV Treehouse and something like that. We're in an RV park. <laughs> I think I think it's called RV and Treehouse Resort, which tells me they have tree houses out here somewhere in theory. So we're just a couple hours north of where our families are. We thought this would be a nice stopping point for us. And there's always a lot to do here in Northwest Arkansas. Way more than we're gonna have time to do, but we're gonna try some. Yep, you got a few days, you can make the best of it. I'm gonna go check in. This is about as easy as it gets. I know I'm becoming a campground snob. You stay at enough of these and you really find the stuff that really makes you excited. This one's great because normally the sites are kind of narrow and I have to scoot over this way to have enough room over there to get my door open, my stairs down, set up our table and stuff like that. This, we can go right smack dab down the middle. Power box over here, no slide issues, tons of room on the other side. This site is long. We I can think fit another truck back here. We could put another dually truck right behind here. This was easy. And we're already level, which tells me auto leveling didn't have to work very hard at all. My parents, my sister, my brother, and their kids found out yesterday that they are actually here in Fayetteville for some school event competition thing. So we're gonna go have some fun, what all of us. Going to a place called Locomotion Family Fun. I think there's go-karts there. Two hundred and eighty three miles Please to ride drive to highlighted route. Jerk. Where our families are. Arriving at four forty seven Northwest Campbell Loop, Fayetteville, Arkansas, seven two seven zero one on the left. I'm so glad Garmin gives us the zip code. We mentioned that our families are a couple hours south of here. You wanna put that on? Yep. That's a good idea. <laughs> Reason being we split the bratwurst and put the piment. Reason it took so long is we split the bra. Okay, over. and if you'll put that in your wallet before we get going. As always. You know, it's almost time to vote coming up, so this is a good time to remind you guys to vote. And while we're talking about that, I think there should be a new law we should vote in that they give every female two driver's licenses when they get them. <laughs> that way they have one to carry and they have one for their husband to carry because it seems like I'm always carrying your license or you're always asking me if I still have it. I don't hate that idea. It would just be better to have two. I'm going to petition my local You should petition that. 